what it do welcome back to the channel it's your boy mustang 214 coming in with another video so i'm gonna make this nice and sweet so this is for my manual guys only uh auto guys y'all can chime in if y'all want to but it's mainly for my manual guys so we get a lot of hate why because we drive a manual you know everybody said we suck we suck at shifting but things we can do to improve on that. Like upgrade your shifter, you know? You wanna prevent high RPM lockout? You wanna rev to 8K? Barton shifter. The main thing I think it is, is the clutch. The clutch can't hold it. Can't hold the shifts. It's not so much the transmission itself, it's more of the clutch. When I went full bolt on, had a lot of issues. So, one, shifter, two, clutch. If you don't want to spend thousand or thousand dollars on a clutch, spend five hundred on a M, uh, MGW or Barton Harbor three shifter, and call it a day. Upgrade the clutch line. Uh, that'll help. What else? Hmm. I don't have the clutch assist spring, so I got rid of that. So a lot of guys like that, uh, like that feel. No, I want all of it. And I want all the problems so that come with it. So, you know, bash as if you want, but that's that. So we're gonna jump over to the car and then I'll let y'all see what I kind of have done so far over the years to improve on, you know, shifting. So let's go over to the car. All right, guys. So like I said, clutch line. So this is a braided line, very easy install, you know, connected right here, down here to the bottom, run it back down over the trans, back to your slave cylinder. And that's it. If you need help, grab a friend with a little bit of knowledge, you know, and get it taken care of. I see a lot of people changing fluid. Uh, I do track this car, so I don't see any thinning out on the fluid itself when it get hot. Uh, I have hot lapped this multiple times. I'm gonna say about eight times, no issues. Uh, at that time that I did hot lap it eight times, I was on a stop clutch. Then a few days later, end up blowing the clutch out on the way home from a drive. So we'll hop in in the car, let y'all see the shifter. Excuse me, less. A little dirty in here. Okay, so this is a, like I said, Barton Hybrid 3 shifter. This is body mounted. I uh, did have it on the trans, but it creates a lot of MVH when driving. So you feel it in the hand. So just went ahead, put it back on the body. Uh, this one, it got rid of the pop-up. So now you have to press down to get it in reverse. Also, it is very stiff. I have all four springs in there right now. So if you want to get rid of some of the tension and the stiffness, just gradually get back in here, pull the shifter off and start pulling one spring at a time, just to kind of feel how the shifter is. I like it because it's not all, well, what's the word for it? Uh, it's not too too loose, it's, it's tight, 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 like I like it. Uh, also, during high RPM shifts, you know, it's, it's very easy. Like, since I have put this on, don't have any mid shifts, high RPM, lockout, none of that. I do have a McLeod twin disc 
RST right to about a thousand horsepower clutch in it. So it's a little bit aggressive for this transmission, but so far uh, it's been two years, no issues. So I'm not gonna make a long video about this, but M280 guys, hey, just keep doing what you're doing, you know. We're going to continue to get a lot of bashing and hate, but try getting this down the track because I guarantee we can drive your 10R80 or your 6R80 just as good as you are. But this right here takes a little bit more of a challenge, you know, trying to get it down the track, you know. Everybody want to think that we're trying to be super fast with a stick shift car. No, it's all about consistency being you know, being dedicated and, you know, a lot of people make a lot of power and they switch over to TBH 400. Well, uh, that's not my case, you know, or they swap to a T56, you know, or just get a bill, bill caliber, stage one, stage two, stage three, and keep it pushing. But uh, that's it on the video. You know, I still have, Still on the stock fluid that the car came with from the factory. So I don't have all that sync, sync three. You know, it's probably time because the car is coming up on 80K. But it is what it is. And we're going to keep doing it. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. Uh, should be going to the track this, this upcoming Sunday. So. Keep look out for that video. And guys, don't be riding around with your check engine light on and you have a whole tuner. Call your tuner up and tell him to fix that. We don't want no lights on besides the track control light off. And what else we got? And your tire light. We don't want no check engine light. Let's make, make sure that our car is running at tip top shape when we driving these things. So, that's it. Again, number one, shifter. Two, clutch. Three, clutch line. And if you want to upgrade the fluid in the trans, that's you. You want to upgrade the brake fluid, that's you. I'm not telling you that it's not recommended or you can't do it. Do what you like, but I'm just telling you this is what prevents you from having RPM lockouts. You revving to 7K, no, you shouldn't be having RPM lockout at 7K. If you are, then I don't know what to tell you because 7K, that ain't enough for me. 75, 78, 79, 8, 81, 82. That's where you, I normally had, was having my problems around 8k so that's that on that and appreciate y'all watching subscribe to the channel y'all and like this video leave a comment appreciate you watching